Andrew Yang, who ran as Democrat for president last year and New York City mayor this year, says he has left the party, is now registered independent. He writes on his blog, quote, breaking up with the Democratic Party feels like the right thing to do because I believe I can have a greater impact this way. This comes as his new book set for a release tomorrow. The title Forward Notes on the Future of Our Democracy. Andrew Yang joins us now. Thanks for being with us. So why leave the Democratic Party? I mean, you ran for president and mayor as a Democrat. Uh, I've been a Democrat for 26 years, Anderson. But if there's a theme of all the segments on your show tonight that I saw, it was that polarization is at record high levels in the United States. Political stress is approaching civil war levels. And the question is, how can we bring the temperature of the country down? And I want to be the metaphorical wet blanket for the country. But I, I'm bringing not just, hopefully, some kind of uh, soothing words, but an actual policy fix that will help bring the temperature of the country down by changing the political incentives of our leaders. Because right now, if you're a member of Congress, your job is to please the 20% most extreme on either flank of, uh, of the population. What we have to do is change it so that you have to try and appeal to 51% of the population, and that would bring the temperature of the country down very, very quickly, almost overnight. I don't think you want to be a wet blanket. I think it sounds like you want to be one of those weighted blankets that's like more com comforting. Yeah, Van, Van said the snow cone. I want to be the thing that soothes <laughs> okay. people and makes them happy. So, but, but I mean, when you look at D.C., you just look at the Democratic Party right now, the splits in Washington over infrastructure, social, social safety net, who, I mean, if you're an independent now, who do you think has the better argument between, you know, progressives with their $3.5 trillion pitch for new spending, moderates who want to see the number, you know, cut in half at least? I'm someone who wants to solve problems, Anderson, and I happen to agree with, with one side's approach when it comes to infrastructure. Um, actually, it was a bipartisan bill, at least in the Senate. But the question is, how can we actually make our system work for us, the people of this country again? Because we can sense it's not working that well right now, and we're being set up to fail. Right now, the incentives are such that Congress has a national approval rating of 28%. The re-election rate of individual members is 92% because, again, they don't have to, to appeal to the general population. They just have to appeal to the 20% on either side. That's what we have to change. And I'm starting a popular movement to help implement open primaries and ranked choice voting that would dramatically improve our legislators' incentives and reduce the polarization that right now threatens to tear our country apart. Given Republican control, though, of a lot of legislatures, how likely do you think it is to change voting like that? I mean, you know, there, there are now increasingly bills in legislatures around the country to make voting actually more difficult. I'm happy to say that this has already been done in one red state, Alaska. And all we need is enough Americans to come together and say enough is enough. We're sick of being pitted against each other. We're sick of the dysfunction. And to push ballot initiatives that just require a lot of American signing in 24 states around the country, from Missouri to Massachusetts. Uh, again, I, I mean, I, I watch uh, not just your show, uh, Anderson, but all of us can feel the political tension rising and rising. And the question is, what can we actually do to fix it? If enough of us get together, we can actually make this happen state by state. You don't need Congress or even state legislatures in half the states in the country. You wrote, uh, you've written about what it was like to run for president. You were running as a Democrat and about how it was sort of like having your birthday every day and people, and it became more of, of sort of a brand that you were promoting. I'm wondering the run for mayor for, New you ran for mayor of New York, you lost in the primary. Do you regret running for mayor? It was a privilege getting to meet so many people all over New York City. We set a new record for a number of individual donors to a New York mayoral campaign. Got over 115,000 first place votes. My only regret is that I'm not in position to, to do more good here in New York. But now I feel like this can do so much good for the entire country, Anderson, by proposing a real policy solution that will actually reduce polarization in this country and get us to a point where we can actually have dinner with our families again around the holidays. Mm -hmm. Andrew Yen, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Again, uh, the new book, Forward, Notes on the Future of Our Democracy. It is out tomorrow.